Pule. Aloha la Pule. Happy Sunday. We made it to the new week. And if we highlight Hilo for a day planner tomorrow, it shows partly cloudy skies to start off the day. But clouds could be building actually through the afternoon, only looking to thin back out just a tad for the evening. And as you can see in those red boxes, the Makani, the wind speeds will remain on a single digit note for the Hilo side. And across the islands, we are seeing the wind slowly start to ease off. Tonight, the breezes continue, though, up to around 25 miles per hour, bringing in some pockets of moisture from the east. But as we take a peek in through tomorrow, green lights across the board for our threats. We do have a small craft advisory, but that goes, or at least is expected to be discontinued by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And that has to do with the winds. And as the winds are weakening, I don't expect that to be extended yet again. And as the winds do weak coming in from the east, we are going to be expecting the choppy conditions that we've been experiencing for the east facing shores to calm down a bit. Three to five footers expecting for the east, one to three for the south, two to four for the west, and three to five up north where we could potentially be getting. Surf, uh, uh, high surf advisory levels by the time we get to the middle of the week. So, surfers, heads up on that. What we're looking at is an upper level disturbance situated towards the northwest of the islands, but all these high clouds really is, is associated with that. A disturbance south of the islands as well. Really, the greatest impact we are having is these clouds coming through. Some moisture embedded within that, but as we get through tomorrow, those should be thinning out just a tad, but it may be building as we get into the middle of the week. In terms of the UA, as you see, not much right now at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, progressing through our Po'akahi, we don't see much. We're actually stepping into a trend of drier weather and a drier air mass that's actually giving us some beautiful conditions in terms of those windward showers. All low chances, especially Wednesday and Thursday in those single digits, leading to the latter portion of the week. But this could be changing, especially Friday and especially for Kauai. And that has to do with the cold front that's being pushed down. And right now, models aren't in the best agreement in terms of how much showers we could be getting from that. But make sure you keep in tune with KHON we will be keeping you informed as that gets updated. But county by county for tomorrow, 87 degrees looks to be the high. For Oahu, Maui, 79 degrees for Kauai. That was the same number as what it will feel like for Kauai. So definitely going to be a cooler day. Windward sides up to 50% chance of showers. That's typical trade wind weather. Those trade winds, again, up to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. And that will be tapering off as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. And it will be easing, uh, easing off enough where we're going to be potentially having some afternoon leeward uh, afternoon showers due to those sea breezes coming through. But in, in most part, those trade winds will be shifting towards the northeast, giving us cooler conditions. Those winds should be ramping back up a bit as we get into next weekend. Have a blessed week, everybody. Sam, back to you.